In this presentation, I'm going to try and help you produce for yourself or for your children. In my case, I produce them for my son's Wall Bouncers channel videos that look like the following. Oh, what's going on, guys? Wall Bouncer here, and today we're doing a Thief 17 pack opening. I've done. A... I produced those videos with very limited knowledge at Christmas about how to do anything to do with videos or video editing and only using the kit that I had currently or have added to from that moment forward. I have two iPads, that's all I have. I bought myself a five pound green screen and a 15 pound tripod off an online retailer. And then I use two apps as well. So the two apps that I use, the most obvious one being iMovie to edit my software initially, and then I need to get rid of the green screen on the video that I've recorded as well, and I do that using Pocket Video. So those are the two apps. These are the items I'm going to use and hopefully I can show you a basic tutorial on how to produce videos that look like a lot of those top YouTubers do with very limited equipment. Okay, so I've set my green screen up. I've just pinged it or pegged it in this case between the curtain uh, and a bookcase this side. So I've held it up here. It doesn't matter if it has any creases in it. The five pound green screen is in position. What I do recommend is that you don't have it lit from behind. If light, too much light comes through here, it can be difficult for Pocket Video to actually remove that when you put it into that app. So I like it to be a little bit darker. So I've got a reasonably dark. I've lit Wall Bouncer, okay? Uh, but I haven't over illuminated the room by having, say, the blinds themselves open. So what I do now is obviously I fire off this iPad so it starts recording the screen. I'll walk over, I'll start recording Wall Bouncer in reverse. And then I will give him the cue and he can start talking. And then what we'll do is we'll trim uh, the uh, footage so they overlap. And then we drop out one set of voice. And I'll show you how we do that when we move between the two apps. So let's fire us off then. Let's see Wall Bouncer in action. We'll leave him to do his thing. And then I'll show you how we green screened him onto the uh, FIFA 17 itself. So we'll fire this one off. And we'll fire this one off. So he's ready to roll when I give him the cue. Oh, what's going on guys? Wall Bouncer here, and today we're doing a FIFA 17. So what we've got now then is, we've got the footage of the actual uh, FIFA 17 going this way, and I've got the footage on this iPad of Wall Bouncer going that way. I've now got to get this footage from this iPad onto this one, and I didn't know how to do it, and it's very simple. So I'll show you, if you're not aware, of how we can airdrop from one iPad to another, or between iPhones. Let's have a look how we're gonna do that next. Taking the iPad with Wall Bouncer's footage on, opening home screen, flick up from the bottom. Bottom icon here, when it comes in focus, says airdrop. Let's click on airdrop, and I'll go airdrop everyone. Okay, so I've got my airdrop now turned on on the iPad with the footage of Wall Bouncer in. So I'm on the iPad with the wall bouncer footage on, so if I go into photos, I go into videos, I click on the video I require, I've now got some icons at the top, uh, one of them is a square box with an up arrow, so if I click on that there, I've got the option now of where I want to send it, including the airdrops here, okay, and I've got an iPad one there, so if I can click that, it now appears on my iPad, whether I want to accept it or not, so I accept the airdrop, and now I wait for it to uh, transfer across between the two iPads. It doesn't require us to connect to iTunes, we just airdrop between devices. It can be done between iPads and iPhones, so a fantastic little tool. I didn't know about it until two months, three months ago. The airdrop complete, now you can see that the footage that was originally on this iPad now appears on my iPad and it's ready for me to put it into iMovie to remove some of the bits I don't need. I want to try and get rid of the tripod this side and just zoom in on Wall Bouncer. So when I drop into Pocket Video, I've really just got the, the green around him because that's the bit that obviously Pocket Video will remove. So I've now got green screen footage of Wall Bouncer airdropped onto my iPad. I can now go into iMovie, okay. It's worth having to play around with iMovie before, obviously, you make your green screen debut. So I'm into iMovie, I need a new project. I need a movie. And I need to select the movie that I'm looking for, which was this one here of Wall Bouncer on the green screen. I create a movie. And there he is. So, I'll do a couple of things. I've got to trim the start, because obviously I gave him the cue after the cameras were rolling. And then I've got to cut the end when you finish, but I've also got to zoom in as best I can as well. So let's start the, the so footage up. Oh, what's going on, guys? Wall 
do that. I'm going to split the action there and delete accordingly and then just check. So, so I've got about a breath. So breath and we're in. So that's the, the start. I've got to remember that for later on. And then I come to the end. And I've got a second or so at the end, so again I'm going to split it, delete the end bit off. Okay. I hope. Not as a case, man. There we go, it's gone. So I've now got my footage now with a breath of the start and then the finish, but that's that's the first part. I now just need to zoom in. That's all I need to do now. So if I click onto it, I come up with a zoom in the top corner, I can now use my fingers as we can with all iPads. And for me, I want to get rid of the camera on the tripod. I'm not too concerned with this side here because I know when I drop it into um, pocket video that I'll actually move him across so we'll lose that part of the screen. So to just run it through quickly, I can see, yep, I can't see the camera, uh, tripod, and we're off and running. That's it, that's all I'm going to do. Just going to leave it like Trim the start, trim the end, and then I've just zoomed in slightly to get rid of the camera. Done and into my save video folder. I pick the, you can't see it, but I'll pick your highest quality resolution I possibly can at the bottom, and then it'll export it out, and then I can drop that into pocket video. But first of all, I must have to trim the actual TV footage of FIFA 17 to almost match with what we did uh, with Wall Bouncer in this one. So our video's been exported to my library, so we're okay with that, and we go again now. We have to go back through the same process again, new project, make a movie, this time I'm looking for the footage that was the um, screen of Wall Bouncers. So we're looking down for a six minute video there, create a movie. Okay, and we're in exactly the same position as we was before. I've got to trim the start, I had about a breath before we started talking. So I need to trim that off. So let's hear it go. And we'll fire this one off. So he's ready to roll when I give him the cue. So just about there, let's try that to start with. Let's split it off. Let's see if that one will delete easy. So we go breath. Oh. Probably not quite enough. I'm just going to bring it in slightly. Oh, what's going on, guys? It's not too bad, I don't think. We're, we're pretty close there. Maybe a tiny bit more. Okay, let's do the end. All the way to the end and try and trim it off at the end. All we've got to do is zoom in and drop it out again. This video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. And see ya! And we'll go with that. And we split it and we delete that one. All we've got to do now is zoom in again. So highlight the cell, zoom in the corner, just bring it in so I've only got the TV in. Try and give it that little professional look. That doesn't look too bad, so I'm happy with that. Okay, as we go through. So that's trim the front, trim the back, and zoom in. Done as before. Export it to save videos, save videos, highest quality now I can possibly choose, and it's exporting the video out. So okay, export that one as well. So that will go into my video folder as well. So I'll press OK for that. We go back and let's get ourselves out of iMovie. And let's go into now Pocket Video. So I'm going into Pocket Video. Again, I recommend you playing around with it before you're going for your first ever project. Uh, so we go in there and I'm gonna do it landscape. Add my film, so I want to choose um, from my camera roll, and I'm going to choose videos. And first of all, I'm going to choose the one of the back screen. So this is the actual footage of the screen of FIFA 17 as it imports. Takes a few moments. So it's imported. We can hear Wall Bouncer. Uh, let's just stop that by pressing the screen. Okay, so there we go. Let's go and we've paused it. Okay, so we're in position where we've dropped the original um, seven FIFA 17 uh, screen in. So this is the one without Wall Bouncer. So we're now ready to drop the green screen footage of Wall Bouncer in. So if I click onto my video slide, it comes up with all the icons. I'm now looking at a video sticker. I want to add one, so I'm going to add, and then I'm going to add it from camera roll. Okay, so back in the camera roll, go videos, and now I'm going to add the green screen one in. So I'm going to drop that one in. Again, it takes a few moments for it to import. 
And there he is. Hit done, it'll drop him in. Again, it'll take a few seconds for it to import in. As we go, so it's importing. I'm not concerned, and you'll see in a minute why, that I'm not worried, because I tend to drop him in this corner here, so I'm not worried about the green screen being missing here. And when I drag the wall bouncer image in, you'll see how I'll lose that part of it, and I'll make it a little bit smaller as well. It'll come in quite large when it imports in. So let's see what it looks like. It's quite big, so again, just use your fingers to drag it a little bit smaller, and then hold on to it to move it into position. And you can see this area here, I had no green screen, it's going to get lost for me. I've done it a few times. I'm going to put him in that position there. Now I've got to get rid of the green screen background. So I'll go down to the bottom icons again. I'm looking for mask. So I hit the mask one. I've now got some more boxes up. I've got a box that's got a green square in it. I mask the green and we can see it's disappeared from round wall bouncer itself. I now tick to say accepted. So it's going to take a few seconds to import that on top of the original video. My only problem now is I've got two sets of volume playing, so let's play it. So you can hear a mini echo there. So we've got to get rid of the volume for the back screen. So we want to be pausing that. And then we go for volume, which is just there. And we're going to take that volume down and we're going to tick it to accept. And hopefully when we play now, we've only got the volume of wall bouncer speaking and not the back volume. So you've got to make sure you drop out the correct one. So I didn't have the rectangle highlighted for wall bouncer as I would have turned his volume down. I'd gone back to the original screen playing. So now we've only got wall bouncer's volume. You can see reasonably good green screen for a, a five pound sheet and a free app. And I think uh, we can export that and hit YouTube with another wall bouncer FIFA 17 pack opening video. So I just hit finished. Don't want to add any music, nope, and it will just export it to my video folder and then we upload as we usually do onto YouTube. I hope that's been helpful. Um, it's taken me a couple of months to get into this position, but we're in a good position now where we can put reasonable uploads uh, for my son's Wall Bouncer channel. We're exporting the finished footage now and I'm going to save it to my it's a bit difficult to see, but that's camera roll, so I've sent it to my camera roll. Just a little bit to remind you, a pocket video will only accept green screens up to 10 minutes, or videos up to 10 minutes, really. So if you do a video longer than 10 minutes, and you know before you're setting out that it's going to be longer than 10 minutes, you're best to give yourself an interval or a break. So before when my um, ball bouncer's been doing um, some Rocket League videos, he's opened 15 crates in the first eight to 10 minutes and then we've had a, an interval and he's opened another 15 crates, giving me a chance to piece together then two eight minute videos. What I end up doing is saving to the camera roll and then just sending them back into iMovie and, and putting them back together there and exporting the completed 20 minute video or 18 minute video then ready for uploading onto YouTube. So if we get out of here, we can now see, if we go to my camera roll, so, we can look at the camera roll that we've got. A green screen wall bouncer for a FIFA 17 video. And that's done with a 15 pound tripod, a five pound green screen, two free apps, which were uh, iMovie, which is free for most people. Some people have to pay a fiver. And then we've got the pocket video when I did pay for any upgrades. So if they say for two pound extra, you can upgrade to high definition, etc. I've always taken the upgrades, but I think that's a reasonable effort um, with somebody whose uh, technology is not good. I'm not good with things such as iPads and new devices, etc. Even though I'm in most of my videos preaching about electrical wiring systems, this is not my bag. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and it's been some help to you as well.